Whatever else, the face is familiar from a million photographs. All over the world, even if you've never seen him dance, you know the name. Rudolf Nureyev. It's quite difficult to dance, you know. It needs commitment and passion. That's what helps to make Nureyev so special a dancer. He's totally committed with a fantastic passion for his work. He once said, every time you dance, what you do must be sprayed with your blood. That's a metaphorical way of speaking, but it says a lot about him. He was talking about when you dance on stage. But before you ever get on stage as a dancer, there is this routine of training, day after day, week in, week out, year in, year out. It never stops. Does it look easy? That's deceptive. The muscles must be made to work exactly the way you want them to work. The repetition, the little movements, gradually build up control over your body and make it possible to do the big, difficult things on stage. Just like an athlete, a dancer gradually stretches himself to the limit of his capacity and then tries to go further. Balance, control, strength. That's what it's all about. That's what the training is for. Without them, the dancer can do nothing. That our brain is built from main, mainly from three parts. And one of the parts is responsible for thinking, analyzing, understanding things. Second part of the brain is responsible, is connected to feeling and emotions. And uh, the third one is connected to instinct, to our instinct, to things which we do instinctively. It's our instinct behaviors, like something what we don't have to think about anymore. It's like a natural ability, like breathing, for example, yes? Like walking, we learn how to walk, and then we don't have to think about it anymore. It's just happening. I can see that people are generally overloaded with the informations. They are in the process of thinking about it, analyzing things. And I am tired of this, watching it. So what I want to say is that people are basically using only the first part of the brain. Now, some of them are moving on into the second stage and they are associating the emotions and feeling with it, which means that there is a movement and an emotion while we are moving. But only very few can do it instinctively. What it means, instinctively? It is so natural for us. 
that we don't have to think. We go out and we perform. So all the things we have learned on the lessons, now we forget them. Sounds crazy. Exactly. It might sound too philosophical, but it's an acting, acting, or acting, an acting. If you... You've lost me. <laughs> <laughs> I have, right? So what I'm saying, actually, you see, I mean, it's a combination of both. I mean, here it is, the natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. Not, if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it is not only, I mean, so therefore it's not pure naturalness or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness.
because I see you have to go forward, but actually everything is working backwards. And now I have to move. And uh, in my body, it's impossible to actually be on time. So when I'm, for instance, here, yeah, I transfer the weight, I rotate. And now I still have power. The settlement there is actually what pushes me out of that step. Yeah? Because that's where I see often the... And that's where it doesn't become logic for me.